As we celebrate Women's History Month, we are introducing you to one Army veteran from Lafayette Hill who earned the name Sergeant Pitbull. She's quite proud of it. Oh Staff boy. Sergeant Erica Webster says that being a young female military police guard was not easy, but it gave her exactly what she needed to create a Forbes magazine recognized fitness program for women. Erica Webster knew when she was just a teenager that she wanted to join the Army. 9-11 so happened when I was a sophomore in high school, and I knew at the time that the military was what I wanted to do. But what Erica admits she didn't realize is that a year later, at age 18, she would be guarding the very detention center at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, where the accused masterminds of 9-11 were detained. And that's where I was being sent for the first time leaving home. Um, and it was, it was scary. It was very scary, um, very intimidating. I had feces thrown at me. If you didn't break there, like, that there's nothing that was gonna break me. Um, living through the fear of that and surviving and going through that mental and physical abuse. Erica says she learned more about herself as a woman in a room full of male soldiers and prisoners than she did in a house full of sisters. She got used to the explosive battlefields of Iraq and doing more PT than required for the male soldiers. But to fit in and to be accepted, you had to be rough. <laughs> now out of the army, she is a mom. I feel like the military prepared me for all of this lack of sleep. <laughs> Her sweet eight-week-old son in one arm, a reminder of all that she survived on the other. All of the heartache and pain that I went through, but I'm still here. My heart's still in one piece, regardless. Here and now the founder of a thriving women's fitness program, recognized in Forbes magazine. Doing boot camp things with them and teaching them things like how to build their strength and then watching them overcome. It was here that she realized the measure of true success isn't about how tough she was, but how much stronger she helped others to become. Sergeant Webster, oh. Erica, says that as hard as it was, she also really missed the community. So now she helps her also veteran husband, Nick Learman, raise money for Team Foster, and they train therapy dogs for veterans in need. So you can yes. watch the entire series of Women's History Month stories on our website, NBC10.com. She's incredible. Isn't she? And now I have the overwhelming desire to, uh, I don't know, work out, pick, <laughs> pick up something. We'll call her.